Well, good afternoon and welcome to BBRC, Britain and English. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this new series looking at places of interest. And today, in particular, we're looking at London, the city of London, our great city here in England. Well, I'm sure as soon as the pandemic is over and restrictions are lifted and most of you have had the chance to uh, come through it, hopefully, uh, and you're able to fly again, you may want to visit London. And I know some of you have asked me these questions, so I do hope that some of the information I'm going to give today will be helpful and you'll enjoy the experience and perhaps decide where you'd like to visit because it's quite a big city. Now, I've got a board here with a few areas of interest here. Now, we'll go a few go through a few uh, places that uh, I know I visited and perhaps you might like to see a place you can visit there we are we've got uh, London museums galleries uh, and we've got theatres as well in the city of London uh, as you can see I've got other places there I would recommend there we are we've got uh, looking down the list there sight sightseeing there and you can um, see looking at Turret Tower Bridge some of these places you can go into as well and I will provide a list uh, towards the end there are boat trips and uh, we've got also uh, uh, sightseeing bus trips as well and also all these places Big Ben Parliament Square there we are the Pal Palace of Westminster Docklands there we are a boat trip down the Thames there we are uh, and the river views there there's also walks if you're interested in walking as well and also Buckingham Palace Harrods for uh, retail uh, Harvey Nichols, there we are. Selfridges, John Lewis, there we are. Well, just to say, London is based, as you can see my little map here, just about there, where that dot is, just about there somewhere. That's London there. Capital city in the southeast of England. Well, London goes back to before the time of the Romans. The Romans invaded in AD 43. They called it Londinium. The history goes back so many centuries and many developments over the years, changes to the, the city which took place during certainly the Great Fire of London in the 2nd of September 1666. We've also had wars, pandemics and various other things to, uh, to get in the way of uh, what you might call a suitable lifestyle for poor old Londoners down there and uh, most people in the days didn't really uh, didn't really come through cholera and, uh, and those diseases. So in some ways today we are lucky. Uh, and there was various events that took place over the centuries. Uh, today, some people might think, well, I know London from the uh, 2012 Olympics, which was uh, well going on nine years ago now. There we are, put the uh, London, London on the map. Uh, and uh, certainly there we are. It shone, shone the light on London as an international metropolis. There we are, that was in 2012. Various events, bombing over the centuries as well. Certainly the Second World War, 70% uh, of the city was destroyed, I believe, uh, and um, had to rebuilt. Uh, and certainly um, the Great Fire of London did uh, take a good two thirds of the city as well. Uh, and um, I think it made about 100, over 100,000 people homeless. Uh, and uh, this caused immense problems over the centuries uh, and um, some places may have the effects to today. But moving on to the city of London, the square miles they call it, where all the businesses are, uh, down at the Docklands there, that was developed in the 1980s for all the businesses uh, when the trading through ships perhaps ceased slightly by the well late 70s, 80s, uh, declining over the, uh, the period after the war. All the businesses came in there, various banks, etc. Uh, and uh, they're still there today. Well, I'm just going to select a few places I'd recommend to visit. I've just showed you the board, so no doubt you've got a few ideas of what you'd like to visit. You've probably been inspired by some of the information there. Um, I know of places. There's also a place I'd like to go to, too. And also, I would say, you can never see enough in London. And if you go for a day, it's not enough. You might want to stay probably a week. You still wouldn't see it all. I've been to London about 10 times in my life and I certainly haven't seen it all yet. So lots to see and do. Depends on your interests, of course. If it's shopping you want, if it's theatres, museums, galleries, whatever you want to do, uh, various things you can see. And here's some recommendations here. Well, St Paul's Cathedral, you can go in there. They do charge, but it's well worth a visit. 
Westminster Abbey, you can also visit Westminster Abbey as well. That's a Parliament Square. Hyde Park, Green Park, uh, St. James's Park, if you want a bit of peace and quiet, quick picnic, uh, a relaxation, there we are. Good choice there, London Parks. Uh, and, um, well, if you want to go to Buckingham Palace, for example, you could walk uh, to Buckingham Palace, then come back through Green Park, or as you could walk around Hyde Park, which isn't very far away, then you could walk back towards Regent Street, then on to Oxford Street if you want to. Let's look at some shops, and uh, you'll see various shops as mentioned here, such as John Lewis, uh, Harvey Nichols. You've got other shops as well there, uh, well worth a visit. And um, as I said, oh, look like my school board. <laughs> Come on, parts like there, there we are. There's places, and I will give you a copy of this, but there we are. So, House Fraser, Owen and Owen, John Lewis, Alfridge's, Harvey Nichols, Harrods. But Harrods actually are not on Oxford Street. If you'd want, you'll certainly find it at to, um, down at um, uh, Kensington uh, Knightsbridge, uh, just near Kensington, and also the a principal museums as well so certainly if you want to have a look you can do and all the top names as well um, so uh, if you look at top names you'll certainly find them in the shops such as Barber, Burberry and all these other Armani's and goodness knows who else um, but moving on from that various interests uh, you've got the National Gallery uh, you've got to as I say cruising along the Thames for a bit of recreation as well Borough Market in London. Most of these are around the sort of centre area, really. The arts museums, for example, the Tate Gallery, Royal, uh, uh, Royal Academy of Arts as well. If you're interested in literature, you've got Sherlock's, Sherlock Holmes Museum. Of course, now that you've seen the uh, you've seen the uh, the films as well, Harry Potter shop. There we are. The Harry. Potter shop there as well, a platform nine and three quarters. Highgate Cemetery, wow, there's people who are uh, artists and writers and philanthropists uh, uh, were, uh, were, were buried there. It's quite a big cemetery, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So many different things. And you've got Keats House, Charles Dickens Museum, Shakespeare Globe, there we are. Various places of interest there, depending on if you're, of course, your interest. Uh, and this is just in London. I mean, if you want to go outside London, there we are. I mean, it says, I mean, you can catch the underground train 20 miles out of London, which is what, 22 kilometers? Uh, if you're looking at uh, a metric, uh, and you've got very regular bus service every few minutes in central London, you've got, uh, as I say, the river cruises. Uh, and Docklands Light Railway in London as well, uh, east of the uh, city, and or um, well, certainly other tourist uh, tourist bus rides, etc. As well, specifically for tourists, so uh, you can find something of interest, whatever your interest is. Well, there we are. You might like Buckingham Palace, as I was saying earlier. They're close to Hyde Park. Have a look around there. Kensington Palace as well. There we are. But I will, will say, I don't think Buckingham Palace is open now. It certainly had not, nothing to do with the pandemic, but I don't think they, they were open for a long time. I had to pay for the damage to the, with the fire at Windsor, but that was in 1992. And I think it was open for a good, what, 10, 15 years. But I don't think it's open at the moment, but they may well be opening for a few months uh, in the peak summer. Hampton Court Palace, well, there we are, an old royal palace there. But that's south of London, I think it's toward, in, right into Surrey, I'd say that. Um, but you can catch uh, a bus there, uh, as I say, Kensington Palace. Uh, and out of London, farther out, uh, you've got Windsor, but that definitely would be farther out. Uh, if I were you, if you're going to look around London, obviously concentrate on the centre of London. That's what you want to do. You've got all your museums and shops and every other thing. And then obviously spend some more time or even come back again. But I would say you'd probably need a couple of weeks if you want to venture out. And there will be places you can get to from London, but it was a day trip, for example, uh, going to Oxford, like I say, Windsor, uh, uh, and other places. Uh, and if you want to look to various theatres in London, there we are, just an example of some theatres here. London Palladium, you've got Victoria Palace Theatre, Theatre Royal Jewelry Lane, Palace Theatre, Gilgood Theatre, Savoy Theatre, 
London Coliseum, and the Lyceum Theatre. There we are. And also this London Planetarium. I remember going there as a child as well. There we are. You've also got out of London uh, the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. Well, worth a visit there. There we are. Uh, manicured garden. There, there we are. And other events on, which one's coming up actually should be. I'm not sure it's on this year, but maybe just online like it was last year. But the Chelsea Flower Show, normally on at the end of May. Uh, and if you want to know about other events in, in and around London, well, you no doubt know about the main football teams, football, ma football matches in Wembley. But also there's Wimbledon, Wimbledon for tennis, which is in South London. There we are. If anything is worth the visit. Now, I will say, I haven't been to London for about 18 months, but I dug out one of these maps. Now, these tube maps, these are free at every underground station. Just pick one up. You'll see all the information there, every train station listed there, every underground station listed on the back there. And you can look at all the stations there, all throughout. There we are. The oldest underground system in the world, originally conceived in 1863 with various additions and extensions over the years up to date. So we're still extending it in places. So uh, well worth a visit. And um, in fact, central London, is that piece there? You can probably see the uh, central line in red there. Ox Street and various other Paddington, various other places there as well. And you get to the tower as well. And if you walk around London, sometimes you'll find publication like this. This is one I got a good couple of years ago. Uh, various information there. You might want to find even some interesting adverts there as well about. Uh, Twining tea, etc. There we are. Things that are on. This happened to be a just before Christmas, so it was various uh, events, uh, theatre productions, etc. There we are, uh, and some maps there as well. You can probably pick one of these up. Certainly, some of the hotels, guest houses, but certainly probably in some of the stations as well. There we are. Various information lists of things. Uh, there we are, got sites there, there we are, L Royal Observatory, there we are, Royal Opera House, Coca-Cola London Eye, what's the London Eye? That's the London Eye at Westminster, there we are. Uh, I haven't mentioned that one yet, but the London Eye is well worth visiting, uh, and the, uh, the aquarium close together there at Westminster, not far from the Parliament buildings as well, so the Palace of Westminster. And there we are, another map there, also showcases the London tour there. You can open this. I'm not sure if the, I, I might have got this one free. I might have paid for it. But certainly, it wouldn't be any more than a pound. So, uh, we've got a nice big map there. Central London there. There we are. See some of the parks there as well. And the river there, the River Thames. There we are. Royal Academy of Arts. Southridge's Wallace Collection. British Museum, Bank of England, there we are, the Gherkin, some landmarks there, Tower Bridge, Southwark Cathedral, there we are, you can visit there as well, Kensington, other side, 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 side uh, West London, the Kensington Palace, Serpentine Gallery, there we are, uh, and uh, Towns and Harrods, Victorian Albert Museum, Sachi Gallery, there we are, North London, what's there, uh, Madame Tussauds, Sherlock Holmes Museum, quite close together there, British Library, uh, and uh, Sir John Sloan's Museum. There we are, not far from St Paul's Cathedral. So various places to visit, and I would certainly recommend a good think about where you'd like to visit, and you've even got another small underground map there to make it easy. There's certainly lots of places to visit, and this would take good, I mean all this would take probably I would say a week, but you might have to come back a second time. So I do hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy today. I haven't been into all the prices of admission, etc., but certainly you can find that online. I would offer uh, offer some more information, but it would just take a lot more time. Uh, but um, if you'd like to look up more information or like to ask me any more questions, do so. Please do so. Look online to any exclusive place you'd like to visit. Uh, some of them may be free, some may be a small charge. Uh, and then the map there, which... Uh, I recommend it on the introduction with various information there. Uh, railway maps, there we are, boat, boat services, etc. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.